Hey guys, this is Brad at IOPS360. Today's webinar is going to cover the mobile clock in, clock out features. Uh, so with IOPS360, you guys know that we can either build time cards based off of your scheduled data, what you're supposed to work, or we can build it off of the clock in, clock out, the timestamps of each user. So um, in order to do the timestamps in and out, we use the uh, authenticated locations, uh, whether that's with the barcode, the RFIDs, the, the user login and password, that kind of stuff. Uh, so the mobile clock in is a different tool that may help the shift to shift trade off and get everybody uh, clocked in on the truck a couple minutes earlier. So with the mobile clock in and out, uh, the Android and iOS apps will be able to look at the GPS position of the phone and see if you're within the radius of that base, you know, how close you are to that base. And if they meet the criteria, they'll be able to clock in, record that timestamp from the phone itself. And uh, you don't have to worry about somebody freeing up a computer or a bunch of people trying to barcode in, that kind of stuff. If you have a lot of people, uh, you know, congregating at one location or something like that in the, in the uh, shift rate handoffs. So let's take a look. If we do uh, features and system config, uh, we're going to click on the time clock tab and we're going to see an option here, the mobile clock in, clock out. Uh, on the left hand side, we're going to see each of our bases and you can click on any one of those. And it's going to have the address of the base and the lat longs that the system has determined from the uh, base address. So we're going to click the little slider to enable the mobile clock in and clock out. Um, when we do that, we're going to see a, another box that pops up and it says, all right, what's the radius? What's the distance that you want staff to be able to clock in and out of for this specific base? So you can enable, you know, a little longer range, you know, on this location and a little tighter on that location, you know, just kind of depending on uh, what the what the traffic is in the area or, or whatever the different uh, the base conditions are. So if we enable this, uh, 50 meters is our lowest option. Uh, one meter is about three feet, so it's 150 feet. And cell phones will determine the GPS based on the towers, on the Wi-Fi, um, and of course the GPS chip itself. So if you enable a little larger range, then the phone GPS doesn't have to be as precise, and they'll still be able to clock in and out. Controversially, uh, the the bigger the range you put in, the more chance that somebody can be driving. Uh, to that location and clock in when they're a quarter mile, half mile away from the location as well. So kind of find what the mix is for your agency, uh, how specific you want it to be. Uh, 50 meters is pretty tight um, versus, you know, a mile away. That that may be, you know, two minutes of driving, that kind of stuff. So just whatever works for your agency. Uh, I'll just pick 100 meters for this one. And we'll hit update the mobile clock in and clock out. Um, so that's enabled it for on the server side. The apps will sync the profile reload data every about seven days. So if you make a change here, you'll need to go into your app, click on the, the uh, little menu bar up top, go into settings, and hit resync user profile. Um, if especially when you're enabling this or disabling this, if you haven't enabled any locations before, then that icon will be gone up in the top right-hand corner next to my events. Uh, so we we just requested the profile resync, so that'll send it to the phone here. And we'll just hit the little home button again to reload all the icons. You see up in the top right-hand corner, we now have a button for clock in and clock out. So we'll click on that, and we're gonna see the GPS chip firing up, and it's determined our location, and it says that we're 20 meters away from the base. Uh, we're going to see the current server time here. Uh, this is pulling directly from the server, so uh, the user's phone time has, you know, isn't factored into this, of course. Uh, any shifts, we can use the uh, the selector here to pick a specific shift. Any, enter any kind of notes we want to, and then we'll hit record timestamp. We'll see the confirmation box with the date and time. And now we have officially set up the mobile clock in and clock out. Hopefully save users a little bit of time during the uh, shift to shift transition. All right. Thanks, guys.